So, I wasn't even really expecting to make a video today. I wasn't expecting to feel up to it at all after last night. But, I got home and I thought all I was going to do was sleep. And I ended up having a quick nap. And then, been watching the tennis naturally. And Atomic game that was just on. First two sets of that was bloody amazing. And anybody who's going to watch it, I'm not going to give away the scores there. But it is, ooh, it was a nice game, alright. Anyway, we should probably get into it, and I might seem a little bit slow or whatever, because... Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. I saw this game, and I just immediately... I knew this had to be casted, like... There's no way I would... I wouldn't feel right not playing and putting this up, honestly, as soon as this came, comes out, so... Anyway, we'll see what we've got, and hopefully everyone enjoys it. It is, from what I've seen and heard about it, it is a pretty fantastic game. And in the green, playing as a Hun, so that's the thing as well, it's a Hun war as well, so we should expect to see both players in this one, like, top-notch. Huns is where it's at. Huns is where everyone, you have to play it perfect. You don't get anything about it. One mistake, and it can knock you out of the game. Uh, in the start, at any rate. So... Let's have a look at what we've got. In the green, we have the Viper, of course, being spectated by Jordan. And in the red, we have Riot, playing as the Huns, so... Gonna be a good one. There's nothing really else to say about that, except... You know, it's bloody amazing. These players, they're so skilled. They're so good at what they do. I'm just thrilled to see this one go down. I'm so happy they decided to play it. This was, I think it was, you could call it a best of three, but there was four games played. So there you go, you know if it's a best of three or whatever, you know what the scores would be. But still, uh, yeah, it's definitely check it out. I'll probably put a link to the AOC Zone one, either when I'm done or whatever. Because it's like, I think it's like 10 o'clock now, I'm recording this, just because I didn't think I was going to be able to. And I just decided, yeah, I'm going to do it, so... Really good idea to check out those games. They were played amazingly well. So, definitely go for it. Let's check the maps nice and quickly, because I haven't gone into anything at all. I'm about to hit the feud lage where the fun will begin. Viper having two stones towards the back of his base, as well as this gold here. Also having the wood towards the back over here, which is going to be nice for late game. Could potentially see a town center come up here. And he's got a lot of room back here to expand into as well, if he wants to. And here we've got a cliff, nature's little wall. Can I help him out there with defending if he does decide to move back? However, I do really see him expanding out in this area more so, mainly due to the fact he's got his two stones and gold here, and this area over here is going to be extremely easy to kind of hold, in a way, because it's kind of half-walled off. Saying that as well, Viper actually going forward with the villagers right now. So he's going to be fording in this game. Viper having this little hill at the front here. Going to be a bit of an issue if Riot gets up here with cavalry archers or any kind of archers. Might actually see some defensive towers come up the way this is positioned right now. Not exactly having the best map, but uh, it's all going to come down to how Riot decides to pressure it. So not a too bad map from him. That gold's going to be a little bit annoying to hold, but we'll see how he does it. Riot having a shit map just from the quick look. He's got wood in the back there, which is kind of nice. This area over here is going to be good as well. He will be able to wall this in extremely easily if he wants to kind of expand out into the back here. But his two major golds are on the front here, which is going to be annoying. His third one over on this area here. Not too nice. Stone here as well. And berries in the back, which is kind of nice. But still, it's not the biggest deal. And stone over here as well. Plus, he's got this nice crater thing going on, which I say every time. When you see this, you initially just want to resign because you hate it so much. Because it means if you're defending, you're going to be defending against the army coming from uphill, so not very nice. Viper starting his forward now and going range first. That is an interesting one, but generally on the forward, you will see range first from what I see at any rate. And definitely an interesting choice from him. Range coming up from right. I believe he would have seen this coming forward by now. I'm pretty sure he tagged that with his scouts on the way. Saying that, he knows where Viper is, but he hasn't actually explored the town center. I think he's been really trying to get this forward going. Anyway, it's going to be a good one from Viper to see how it goes. Spear is out for right, and I actually had something about that on the comments. I was going to reply, but other people did it for me. Uh, slang is Australian. Australians. You're lucky I don't just call them S, like, just use the S off the start and just add a bloody Y to the end the way Australia is. I mean, even like, what have you got? Just all the capital cities, you know, you've got Canny. Melby, 
all that kind of stuff. Mali, whatever you want to call it. And then you got Sydney, which of course has been abbreviated for us already. But still, you know exactly what I mean on that. And it's the same reason sometimes I just say crosses instead of crossbows. Same reason you see people write KT instead of knights. Just for efficiency nice and quickly, especially when you're casting something really quickly. it's You have to be as efficient as possible to get everything in there. Because some people say I talk fast as it is, but... In those kind of situations, it can be hard. Viper losing a village there. Got more spears out than right at the moment, having three to the one right now. Skirmishes here going to be really important because they do get a hidden bonus against spears. So they're going to be extremely effective versus them, especially if scouts start to make an appearance, which they definitely should. Second range is coming up for right. Viper not going for the second range yet. Does he have the resources? Saying that Wright's got a lot of wood there available to him. He's going to be able to push quite well. Viper at the moment looking pretty low on the resources. Saying that though, the spears do cost wood. So that could be one of the reasons he's behind right now. But let's speed things along because this is going to get really interesting really quickly by the look of it. Wright is going to have to hold this one if he wants to get onto gold units. And I think that's why Viper decided to forward. Map was definitely really good too because he can lock down these golds here. Which is exactly what we want to be doing. Villages as well. Forcing more villages out of Wright to come into the fight here. Really interesting. That spear doing its best to hit that villager with his wet noodle but not going to be too effective some good micro going about here viper actually running off with this one over here villagers of course extremely hard to micro but viper doing a good job here just keeping riot busy and kept up in his base right now so definitely a good job from him however it looks like he's kind of abandoning this forward now uh, saying that there's just this villager walking away and that's about it and those villagers are actually going across the map but uh, he's still definitely pushing it out so Gonna keep it nice and close. Oh, he might be abandoning it now. No, he's just going to the hill, but gonna get pushed back by those villagers, because of course, villagers are absolutely great against skirmishes with that two armor. Skirmish is only having to attack at this stage. No blacksmith upgrades on them, so villagers only take like one, one damage. And gonna be walling in this archery range. Generally, a really quick and effective way to deal with fords. Ha! And Riot actually realizing just what happened then. That's actually brilliant. Viper actually led those villagers all the way back to his town center and killed them off. And I think he saved the villager. Can we see? Uh, that wasn't him. Was that him? Yeah, that looks like him there. He saved the villager as well. Bloody well played from Viper there. And starting to move forward. Ooh, yep. Right, definitely going to be able to lock this one down here. Moving on to gold. Viper not taking gold himself yet, really investing in the trash units. However, a stable coming up from him, going to be extremely efficient versus right skirmishes. But until then, he's going to have to get some spears out to really try and deal with this. Especially if the push comes in from Riot right now. Uh, skirmishes, like we know, in mass, they can take out scouts quite easily, especially if they are on a hill and microed well. Uh, of course, as we know, most range unit can take out pretty much anything as long as the positioning's good, the micro is good. Uh, it's like the argument: plumed archers versus eagles. Plumes will win if it's if your player can micro and gets that positioning right. Plumes will win nine out of ten times, just because they can get that better surface area compared to eagles. Which is always an interesting debate that we always see. Uh, apart from that, I don't think there's really anything going on, or at least that I've seen in the. 10 minutes I managed to lock onto AOC zone. I know that this has been played, and this is probably some of the biggest news. Uh, no news about Forgotten Empires yet that I've heard. Nothing new on that. New patch they're working on, blah, blah, blah. People getting concerned that the Persians didn't get anything, which I thought, honestly, was freaking hilarious. Because it's not like the Persians really needed anything, honestly. And then your next tax definitely unique. Going to make it really strong castle age, especially for arena style of play. Going to be able to make those rams work a little bit harder. Skirmish is moving out right now for Riot going to try and get in here and do some damage. Got the spears with them, of course, as well. Just going to make it harder for scouts to engage, forcing a little bit of extra micro. Bit of a wall off coming up here by a Riot. Generally, a pretty smart move to get because it will start to make it hard to get into that gold, which is exactly what you want. Any kind of warning time is brilliant. Viper going to be moving in with these scouts, though. We're going to be able to see how he micros this one. Actually moving on to Hunt as well, which is definitely an interesting one from him, because this late you generally don't see people take Hunt. But potential for a few villagers to get lost here, even though these skirmishes are doing minimal damage, can potentially grab another two, maybe a third. Ooh. Archers out as well now. It looks like this villager here could potentially be in trouble. Yep, going to be herded back by those spears, and I don't know if that was intended or not, but... Brilliant play from him, losing three villagers there, which is not nice at all. 
Saying that, though, it looks like the skirmish is back here. Getting onto that hunt, and I don't think Viper managed to take any villagers from here. Did force a garrison of the town centre, though, which is extremely good. And forcing a little bit of villager idle time here, which is just as nice. But both players on a hunt this late into the game is interesting to see. Tower coming up in defence from Viper, which is what I was actually looking at, like, immediately as soon as I saw this hill. And um, where that gold's positioned. Once Riot takes that, it's going to be so hard to get it back. So fair enough on that one. Lumber coming up in the back because he needs a lumber source, of course, during the Feudal Age and Dark Age. Well, probably throughout the entire game, just you need that consistent wood. Grabbing two villages there, really nice picks. Uh, definitely done well. And grabbing another one back here as well. Viper getting even for that wood push from uh, Riot right now. However, Viper starting to get more scouts out. Bloodline's actually done, which is going to make those scouts so much less scared of spears, which is probably the thing that really gets them. Because I think it's generally three scouts to a spear. Uh, that's probably, like, the number that you will be like, oh, I could engage here if I want to. But once you get that Bloodline's on it, two to one, you can start getting really aggressive. And if they get that one hit, it's not so much of a big deal. So it allows for so much just aggressive play out of them especially once they start getting those armor on them they can get really game once you got bloodlines in the armor the town center really doesn't scare you quite so much a few idols there from riot because he's just back here trying to just deal with this but like i was saying once you get that armor on them they're generally pretty ballsy around town centers but once you get that bloodlines as well you may as well just be riding a giant set of testicles once you get into it over here keeping on Keeping Riot busy, he's done a really good job of this most of the game so far, but really managing to handle it well. Both players attacking each other's economy, and that's where it really gets into in this game. Probably most of the games definitely won in economy, which is one of the reasons Viper and Riot have been so strong recently. Maybe not Riot, he's, he just knows what he's doing, and he can he makes amazing decisions throughout the games, deciding whether to go one town center or three, whether or not he can push here or not. He just makes snap decisions, and he... 99% of the time they work out well, they work out in his favor, and that's probably one of his strongest things. I'm not putting him down on economy or anything, just Viper's economy is generally in a league of its own, but I am so happy that Riot's come back because we have not seen much of him recently, or at least of what we've known is him. I think he played some games uh, probably halfway through last year. Oh, this is not good. Going to be able to snag some villagers here, potentially going to get another two. If he changes to this one, but no, going to pursue the one going back first. Probably not the best choice of villager to go for first, but still managing to pick him off. So that's another two there. And right moving out with a group of archers as well now. So that vi uh, villager kill count's about to really skyrocket, because archers do so much more damage. Saying that as well, as Viper going for a smith yet? Yes, he has. All right, he's got the plus one. I didn't see it when I last checked, but we'll go back and check where it is just to make sure. And right now, Viper having a lot of scout cavalry out, and if he can deal with these spears effectively, he'll be in a good position here. Because scout cavalry really do soak up arrow fire, but I don't think... I think Riot's just got too much of a mass here to be able to do it. Going to be able to move in with the scouts now. The spears are trailing a little bit behind here, but still pushing him back. He's at that critical mass, which we're always talking about. And there's a the smith there, fair enough. Interested to see what he goes for, and saying that, do you just go for armor? Yeah, he did. There we go. See, I saw that. I saw that food go down. I was like, armor. Yeah, we're on top of this. Um, back at right space. Not really anything else going on. No particular wall offs happening. I don't think that's even walled there. If we look between those two, this is why Pussywood's a good mod. Uh, actually, heaps of people ask me about the mod too. It is a mod for the trees. It just shrinks all the trees naturally. Uh, generally called small trees or Pussywood. You can interpret that how you want, but uh, easily found on AOC Zone in the mod sections. Generally, that area is really easy to navigate, and if you can't find it as well, you can just put AOC Zone, Pussy Woods, Small Trees, or whatever into Google, and it comes up pretty quickly. So, there's the one for that for people who don't know what I'm using there. So, hopefully, that helps some of you out. And moving into a good spot here, starting to take out some of these spears, so the scouts are going to be able to get in there, and with that plus one armor now, going to be so much stronger. The economy from Viper up to 72 population right now. Uh, Resource-wise as well, he's starting to get a bit hefty on the wood there, but apart from that, he's done pretty well. All his resources are low, I think he's going to start thinking about advancing soon though. Saying that though, he is keeping scout production and amongst villager production as well. He's not producing villagers. Anyway, but the two of them, it makes it... It really hurts your food 
So if you're going, like when you see people go double stable, it's still really, really hard to up off that. Which is the main reason people transition to archers, because they only cost wooden gold. Once you get those going, you can save up the food really quickly, and you can get into that transition nice and easily. Saying that though, I think this fight over here is alright, we can jump back to it nice and quickly. Riot looking really good on the resources there, lots of wood actually built up there as well, and gold has got quite high resources. Saying that though, he is continually producing off two range, which is nice, considering you generally need about five to six villagers to be able to do, what, maybe uh, five, six or seven maybe, just to be safe. But to get enough production like that for gold, he's going to have heaps left over. I think he knows there's 78 population for him at the moment. And we'll actually just check Vipers because he's about to up. Uh, and 77 for Viper, so it's still bloody close. And there we go, right hitting up right now. Viper's going to have to get in and do some damage until he can get up. Still having a bit of trouble. Could be the fact that he's not producing any scouts, which is going to be probably the biggest difference here. Because 10 scouts at 80 food apiece, that's enough to go up, so... You know how that goes, you know how that ends up. Viper's going to have to come in and get some serious villager snipes here. And with these kind of scouts, like I said, they're really not that scared of the town center anymore. They will follow villagers all the way in if they're only one or two hits away from death, so... And actually, let's check if Riot's actually seeing this coming. I don't think he has, so... These two villagers here probably in trouble, and... Ooh, did you see it? He's going to see it now at any rate, and are these lumber camps touching. Effectively walling these villagers into here right now, and... Some good micro from Viper might be able to get... Ooh, forcing the deletion there, even though it wasn't that bad at the stage. Might be able to grab three villagers here, I reckon, depending on how they get on them. If, if those ones turn around right now. Getting two, three... Ooh, going to grab that one there as well. Four. Was that a fifth? One, two, three, four. I've lost count, but still... Really good play by Viper there, right making the right decision, deleting that off. They were just trapped in there by those villagers, and it was not a good thing at all. Forcing these archers back to base, which is generally a pretty good play out of Viper right now, because he's been able to keep that army in here as much as possible. And that's really just limited the damage that Riot can do to his economy, because, of course, he's got nothing there that he can do. Saying that as well, Viper's still nowhere near going up to the next age right now. This is what's going to hurt, especially once Crossbow gets done, uh, if he decides to go for Crossbow, saying that is... Got a lot of archers in place. So he's bloody well going to go for crossbow. But Bracer as well. Not Bracer at the stage. Bodkin. That's the other one. I always forget Bracer. Uh, that's the name of it. But Bodkin going to be able to come up. And that range is going to make a huge deal. Especially if they decide to get the extra armor on them as well. Because they'll be more resistant to scout attacks. Especially skirmishes. Because that's where you really need the armor. Uh, but that tech advantage is so big. And if you can play it well, you've... He's going to be able to outshoot Viper and potentially outmass as well, especially if he goes Cavalry Archer. And there we go, up for him right now. Viper's still not upping, doesn't even have the food count to be upping right now. And it's starting to look really good in Riot's favor right now. Crossbow on the way, Cavalry Archers of course as well. Not going to have Bloodlines though, because I haven't seen that. Bodkin on the way. We haven't seen that stable, so of course not going to be Bloodlines. Imagine to pick off one scout there, but... Don't think he lost any more villagers, but Viper definitely keeping right on his toes here, and he's going to have to retreat this one, going to have a bit of trouble defending. And there's Bodkin and Crossbow, and Viper's in a bit of trouble now if he can't get up and meet that on tech. Might even see some more defensive towers come up from him. I don't think he's taken stone yet, though, so he's going to have trouble putting up more towers, but... Oh, 138. He has to be mining stone, then. So he's got a tower up there. Let's check quickly. Oh, 287. There we go. Fair enough. And he's going to be able to put up one more defensive tower. Might come up on the wood here. Walling this in. Generally a really good idea because I was talking about the positioning of archers. If you can get into these little oases here, it's so hard to stop them because they just have such a small surface area to be able to get the defense onto. Uh, Manganels will absolutely rip them apart, but still, he's only in the feudal age right now, so he's not going to be able to go for that. Viper now having enough to go up. There is another archery range coming up over here. Obviously going to be wanting to transition into the cavalry archer. And ooh, this could be really bad for Riot right now. Not going to lie, these crossbows could have probably taken the scouts on if the positioning was good, but being caught in the open like this between these archers, skirmishes, and scouts, this is a big win for Viper right now. Probably going to time through until he gets into the castle age. And easily... There we go. Vi uh, Riot moving out again, going to try and get in there with the Cavalry Archers. Of course, probably already done uh, saying that. He's got Bloodline, so he's probably got Husbandary done. And he might have had a stable before when I was saying he didn't. 
Mm. That makes me feel like an idiot. Anyway, not completely sure, but I said, what can you expect from this? I wouldn't be saying this is going to be the best commentary I've ever done. But still, he's coming out from these. My, don't think he's got husbandary yet, just because that's such a high food cost. Uh, right, not going up to multiple town centers as well. Sticking with the one, definitely an interesting choice, but he plays it so well. He knows when he needs to and when he doesn't. And right now, I think he can get in there and do the damage before Viper gets to Castle Age. But as we know, Viper, a very tight player. Gonna have to see how he goes about that. University coming up, and let's actually check. Ooh, doesn't exactly have the resources for ballistics yet, but gonna have them soon. How are we looking here? This area over here going to be extremely vulnerable right now. Viper putting all his energy and resource into defending that. Uh, Cavalry Arch as well, not particularly scared of towers at this stage. Once you get maybe, like, they're scared of town centers, I would say, just because they can shoot so many arrows. But town centers are really not that scary at this stage for Cavalry Archers. One coming up on the stone, which is definitely a good play by him. And, uh, who was it? Someone had an outpost before that I was looking at. I think they did at any rate, or maybe I'm just going crazy. Because uh, I thought I saw one, and I really wanted to explain how good they are, but... Ah, there we go. And saying that, got here right in time for the scout attack. But outpost, so amazing in Arabia, I cannot explain it. If you've taken stone, build outposts. Like, I'll show you this, I'll show you why. Look at the amount of extra room he's got here to see anything coming in. If they're going to run in, try and snipe some guys on here. He's going to catch them back here. Bam, can be back at the town center at the same time. Viper hitting the castellation. Now, market actually coming up for a riot, which is interesting. Uh, probably going to sell off some of that food at this stage, honestly. Uh, saying that, though, we just spent a lot of it on something. Ah, uh, husbandary, there we go. Didn't think he'd done it yet, but gonna really be a big boost to those cavalry archers, especially fighting against these scouts. Gonna make that micro a lot easier. Uh, Viper, no doubt, going to be going crossbow at this stage. Where's he going? I think I just missed it. No. Uh, Bodkin being done, but... No crossbow. Oh, there we go. Must have had... Where's that extra? Ah. It's a range. Probably did it at this range here. Definitely a smart play from Viper to do that. Light cavalry from Viper. Something we don't generally see until later in the game. Uh, so that's an interesting one in general. Usually it's just used for raiding. But I guess he had a lot of scouts out in play anyway. So it's probably a good idea actually to get that one. Gonna be able to snipe this one cavalry archer here. And considering riots going off one town center. Every cavalry archer is valuable right now. And... Good timing there from Viper, and looks like he's going to lose probably one or two villagers here. And sit at the base of that tower, of course, no murder hole. Some knights actually out for Viper, that's an interesting choice right now. Because uh, we know how knights perform against cavalry archers when they're in mass and their position. Especially once husbandry is done, because he can do so much more damage. Looks like this range here is slowly dying, but going to come in with his light cavalry, and this is a lot of light cavalry for raiding. Going to be able to probably pick off all of this if he wants to. Uh, just depending how long he wants to stay in here. Uh, definitely getting some good harass. He heaps of spears moving in, and that's generally the sign to get the hell out of there. Uh, whether or not he wants to or not, because he's definitely getting some good... Well, I wouldn't say harass at this stage, because he's not really getting any of the villagers. But he's definitely bringing down Riot's forces at the moment, which is massive. Ooh, losing one, two, three, four, five villagers there. That is not pretty. Not pretty at all for Viper there, but still maintaining his score lead, but it is so close still. Tight game, and we'll have to see how this one goes. If this goes into Imperial, it's going to be a amazing game so far. Viper down here, though, still getting a lot of light cavalry. Now he's getting light cavalry harass. I can count one, two, three villagers there. Crossbows here being absolutely invaluable against villagers, because we know how well having range against them are. You can't just wall them in and hope for the best. They will get slaughtered in that case. And forcing them all back to the town center here. This is exactly what Viper is good at. Harassing the economy like this, microing so he doesn't lose villagers back here, doesn't lose any over here, putting more defensive towers up, definitely a good idea here. Knight's probably going to be able to soak up a little bit of damage here, but I don't know, might just be able to get the towers up in time, gonna have to see how that one goes. Saying that though, Viper might actually be able to take down this tower. Uh, definitely going to be an interesting one from him. Doesn't have any of the armor upgrades on his uh, archers though, but he does have both on his light cavalry right now, which is actually a really big deal, especially considering he's started to transition into knights as well. I don't know if you know if he's transitioning into knights or what right now. I don't know exactly what he's doing at all, because I haven't seen any cavalry archers, which is what it looked like he was gearing up to do. I don't know, skirmishes. Ooh. Interesting forcing skirmishes out of Viper. Still right playing a brilliant game so far. Still, though, losing on this on the frontier is going to really hurt. He's only down by, say, 200 points, though, considering that's a pretty good effort. Looks like he will be cutting wood back here. Right, going to be extremely low on resources right now. Yes, he's down to under 100 wood. 
200 food and 80 gold, so not exactly like that as well. Definitely playing an interesting game, though. He's only got 91 wood, though. That is the thing right now. He can't build another lumber camp. That's where it's at right now, unless he cancels. He hasn't even got anything queued up, so he can't even cancel anything to get that lumber camp right now. Riot is starting to look like he's in a really bad position here, because while these villages aren't working, Vipers are pretty much working. He has forced a few to garrison. He has killed off a lot, but still, this is a lot of random villages over here. And 103, it looks like he, he could have potentially bought some anyway to put a lumber camp up. Hmm, but that's <laughs> oversaturated, to say the least. Grabbing some wolves there could potentially lead them back into the economy if he felt like it, but... Some really interesting play from both players here. I haven't seen Light Cavalry used as heavily in a... I don't think I've seen Light Cavalry used as heavily in Castle Age before. Uh, unless it was by, like, a Mongol player due to the fact that they have that extra HP, but... Viper just playing amazing here, keeping Riot kept up. And Riot keeping up with this... Oh, bloody hell, they're playing, they're both playing a pretty solid game here. Riot's Rass has been pretty damn good. Looks like he's going to come in and get the hill here as well. Potentially going to be in a really good position. Could force Viper out of here, actually. Either that or might actually be able to kill this off. And if he kills this off, a lot less harass is going to be made. But, oh no, Viper moving in with some knights here. This is going to be absolute hell for Riot to be dealing with now. He will be able to finish up these crossbows nice and quickly, though, and be able to run in here and hopefully get rid of these knights before anything else happens. But... Jesus, Riot's doing a good job here at staying in the game. Both players here are pushing each other to their limits. The harass has been everywhere. It's, oh, it's been bloody good play so far. I'm so impressed with this, and I'm happy I decided to cast this one. Definitely a good idea. You can probably hear my throat's gone on me at the moment because alcohol does that, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll hold in there. Don't know how much longer we have left, but so far this has been so worth it. I needed it. This was just a good watch in general. I'm feeling motivated. Feeling good. Viper going to be able to push in again, but Riot moving in with some cavalry archers here. It looks like Viper has noticed this. Viper going up to two town centers now, which is kind of a big thing considering Riot's still only on the one. And how are we doing population-wise? That's probably going to be one of the big things here. Riot on 67, Viper on 97. That's a big difference. Viper looking in an extremely strong position right now, and I think he's going to be able to take this. It will come down to the harass and what kind of damage Riot can do with these cavalry archers, but getting one, two, three, potentially a fourth. No, getting out of there just in time. But getting another three villagers there is nice. Every villager sniper he can get is bringing him closer and closer back into the game here, which is really good. But saying that as well, Viper's in there killing as many villagers as he can and keeping Riot as far down as possible. I mean, look at this. The town center is pretty much fully garrisoned right now. We've got villagers sitting under the bottom of it. He's doing such a good job at keeping Riot just under control at this... That's... Oh, it's amazing. No ballistics from him yet, which is probably where uh, Riot's definitely taking this game, which is an interesting one, but... Viper looks like he's starting to go into full knights here, which is definitely an interesting choice, something we don't see a lot of, but definitely some interesting choices this game, and I'm surprised the scores are still so close, right? It's just playing a quality game right now. It definitely looked heavily in favor of Viper, but the scores are just so close. Keeping this one fairly interesting. Gonna be able to snipe some knights here if he wants to. And Viper getting attacked by a wolf there as well. Hopefully that brings Riot a little bit closer to victory. Who knows, that few hit points there could be what kills off that knight. Going to be able to potentially get... Ooh, this is looking bad the way those villagers are running. Getting two, three, four there by the looks of things. Going to probably be able to snag a fifth and a sixth as well if he decides to stay in there. But those skirmishes making it a bit hard. Losing three cavalry archers there. Not the worst situation, but engaging here... Ooh, managing to take out one knight, not lose anything else, and the speeds are the same, so we're looking good there. Viper just looking for anything else to kill right now by the look of it. He wants uh, blood right now, and Riot's not giving it to him. He's just playing effectively and keeping this done, but right now his economy's not in a good spot. Like, I wonder, how many villages does Riot have? So he's down to 54 population. Let's have a look. Idle villagers 1, farmers 4, lumberjacks 4, miners 12. 
that's an interesting amount of villagers to have, and if we compare it to Viper, I'll actually just swap quickly, so, yep, there's an engagement going on over here, but we'll watch this and we'll check Vipers. Six idle villagers, three builders, 22 farmers, 30 lumberjacks, 15 miners. Viper's going to win this one on economy right now. The harass he has put into it has been so good, uh, unless Riot manages to get absolutely amazing figures right now, like, if he has a really good kill to death with these cavalry archers, can definitely do it, but the village account for Riot at the moment, like, I'll bring that back up, because that's, that is ridiculous, like, to have that little villagers right now, it's credit to Viper and how well he's been picking these off, and it's a credit to Riot, considering how close the scores still are, I am, that's probably the thing that's getting me the most out of this game, he's done so well, uh, obviously he's picking his battles, he's winning his battles, and doing fairly well, saying that though, Viper's starting to get a 500 point lead there, and this is where things are going to go downhill for Riot. I can't see him coming back from here. He's lost a lot of his cavalry archers. Viper can definitely outproduce right now. He's up to three town centers. Going to be producing three times the villages, four times the villages that Riot has now with that fourth town center, which I just noticed. Uh, but yeah, no military from Viper though. That's the thing. This is the military force he's got out now, like four skirmishes. So Riot potentially, if he can come in there and kill off like all of Viper's villages up to like 20 of them left, he's back in with a chance, but until then, like, there's not really a lot you can say. Gonna be able to snag a few here though, one, two, three, and gonna get out of there before he loses too many cavalry archers. Could run into here in the back and snipe those two. Gold for Viper though has been used up, so that's quite a big thing actually, and forced him back to this side here. Has put the town center up there, so he's not in quite so much trouble, but Riot's military here is just slowly dying off, and Viper's just being able to replenish everything so quickly. 800 point lead for Viper right now, and I think we're starting to see the end of the game here. Definitely not looking good for Riot. That's all I've got to say. Viper's everywhere, he's seeing everything, he's noticing everything. Uh, there's definitely been some good villager kills from Riot, but so far, like, Viper's... Wait, is he up to five town centers? One, two, three, four, five. All right, he's on five town centers, so... I wonder if Riot, if Riot's seen those extra town centers. Like, I think he's guessed there's one there. He hasn't seen the one... Uh, I don't think he's seen them. So I don't think he thinks he's that behi far behind, but... Uh, it's, it's definitely not looking good, especially from the score pers perspective right now. 1,100 points in favor of Viper. Starting to really push this one out, and... Like this, like, Riot's got nothing on the map right now. There is nothing here. If Viper kills off some more villagers, it's over. Getting one. Attacking with his villagers here. That's it, guys. That's GG. When they do that, it is over. So, I'm just waiting on the resign now. Definitely some good play by Viper in this one. Riot doing a really good job keeping up for so far, but I can't see him going much further. Once those villagers start attacking, you know that it's over. And Riot resigning out there. I'm sure he said GG or something, but I wasn't looking on the right side. Can we go up or down? Uh, can't see it. Uh, as well, hotkeys for that is just page up, page down. So there you go. Grab that anyway. I hope that was good, because I thought it was a really good game. Riot played amazingly, but Viper taking that one. The set was played. There was four games played. I think it went 3-1 in Viper's favor. But definitely check them out. They're really good recordings. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully it's a lot better, because I won't be wanting to sleep. Anyway, see you soon.